Welcome back to my dungeon. It's been a while, but it's October. Halloween is almost here. So I thought it was about time that I did a video, since it's my favorite season. And also because I placed my first team order, and probably my last. I just wanted to see what the hype was all about. And since moving here last year, I still have some space to fill on my walls. So I wanted to find some stuff to hang on there. And they're all kind of spooky, so I thought it would be fitting for this month. And then I also have some stuff from Killstar and a few random things I might throw in here just to make it a whole video. <laughs> One thing I didn't know about Timu is that you have to order like a set amount. So because these items were so cheap, I did have to order like some separate items, but they're not really fitting for this video, so I'm just gonna skip those. But let's take a look at the Timu order first. Came in just a bag. Here is the first item. This was called a skull and moon textile poster i think or something along those lines so let's just open this and i know this design is like very basic basic bitch stuff but uh, i still kind of like it <laughs> so i'm just gonna have it on my wall so it's almost like a door poster i'd say because it's like really long and rich rectangular this is going to be hard to show but i'll of course insert like pictures and stuff later but there's the moon on the top and then it goes down to a sword with the snake the skull right there snake going through it and then at the bottom we have the moon so this is definitely like cheap polyester or something but honestly the print quality looks decent and yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with like skulls and snakes. <laughs> I think it's fine. And you know my style, so this will be hanging up all the time, not just for Halloween. And yeah, I mean, it was super cheap, so I only paid just below $4 for that one. This next item was a little bit more expensive, but still super cheap for what it is. And it came on a roll because it's like an unfitted canvas or unframed canvas, I don't know. And this was just above eight dollars so let's take a look at that i think this might be even larger or longer so uh, this might be really hard to showcase but um i mean it's like a texturized canvas and honestly the print quality is amazing super shiny so of course we have some skulls again <laughs> and it's just like a almost like maybe a cathedral setting like that can you even see what i'm doing <laughs> yeah a little bit of glare there but i think you can see what's going on i mean i just like the print and the color scheme you could maybe try and find a glass frame like a photo frame that will fit this but i really like the canvas style just like i have on my uh, pictures up here that's just like on a wooden frame so i do plan on making like a frame for this myself so that i get like the full canvas style instead of putting it inside a glass frame with even more glare so that's a project for another day <laughs> i'll definitely post a picture of the finished canvas when i made the frame on my instagram so just follow me there if you want to see like the finished product also if you already follow me there you might have seen the next item i don't know if this would like qualify as a spooky item but i think it's kind of cool so it's just a tiny sculpture sort of of a mythical creature, a dragon maybe, I guess you'd call it. And so this is kind of special because I'm originally from Trondheim in Norway and there's a big famous cathedral there and I was there around my birthday this year. So I got this piece which is a replica from one of the sculptures outside of the cathedral. It's just like from a gift shop next to it, but they had a lot of really cool stuff there, which I've also posted about earlier, but I'll include it here as well, just in case you haven't seen it. Definitely wanted to get a larger piece, but these were quite expensive. These next items are probably my favorites. I did get them last year, 
but I've never shown them anywhere, so I thought I'd just include them here. The Killstar brand is kind of hard to find in Norway, I think. But there's this comic book store called Outland, and they stock a few things. I do have to go out of town to visit this store, but I do travel a lot, so I am able to pick up stuff if I order online. And so I just randomly saw these candle holders one day, and I just had to get them. <laughs> Excuse the already used up candle on top, but um, this is it. They do have a metal spike on top for the candle. And then the three goats. And the hoops are so amazing. I do tend to burn a lot of candles in my home and I mostly have like stuff for tea lights so when I saw these for like big sort of pillar candles I just knew I had to get these. Of course I did get a pair just because I think that looks nicer. I got these on like a I think it was like 70% sale so originally in this online store they were about 600 Norwegian kroner which is about 54 US dollars, but on sale I think I got them for 190 which is about 18 dollars. I just googled them now and I found some European shop that sold them for like 11 to 15 pounds which is about the same as the sale price so I don't know why they were so expensive in the first place maybe it's because they're imported I don't really know but at least for the price that I paid for them I think it was definitely worth it. And amazing things like these are just really hard to come by locally, so I felt like it was a really good buy for me. I'll toss in a few small random pieces just at the end, because I think I showed one of them in my previous video. But like, if you didn't watch that, then you get to see it now. Because <laughs> maybe you just clicked on this Halloween type video, so yeah. I'll just include them anyways. These I ordered from a online store. Yeah, it's Spirit of Equinox from in the UK. So maybe you can get them there still. So I got two candles in like a tarot design. And honestly, just the boxes themselves are super cute. And they had a lot of stuff in this design as well. Like I did get one of the mugs. Of course, since my, uh, my name is Moon and my favorite color is black, of course I wanted the Moon mug, but they were all sold out. So I just got the star for now. And maybe I can get the Moon later. And I think they also had some textile posters, drink coasters, and some stuff like that with this same design. I've already burned this down completely, but you can still put a tea light in there, so or just other random stuff, I guess. The other one is purple glass, and I do have a tea light. And they still um, smell really amazing, <laughs> so that's nice. So that was it for this spooky haul. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite item and what you have been buying for this Halloween season. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Recess. <laughs>